Guys, my name is Nito Bandito, and I've been laughing incessantly for about five minutes. Because when I started this video, I was like, hello, guys. Thank you for coming in through the door. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on in my mind. Anyway, uh, my name is Nito Bandito. I am not a financial advisor. I'm not even actually any type of advisor whatsoever. I am just a simple guy with an ordinary job. And if you see me for the first time, we call this the Stock Banditos. Therefore... I give you stock advice and strategies, strategies on how to make money and increase your wealth in the stock market. I think I know something or two about about stock buying and investing in the stock market. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm on a roll here. I've been laughing for a while. You can, you can see like I've, I've been crying out of laughter. Um, so I'll see you on the other side of this. Today, I actually have something very exciting for you, by the way. We're going to get to talk about a lot of things. But one of the things we're going to talk about is this stock that has been trading on the stock market ever since 1956. Did you guess the name of that stock? I'll see you in a minute. Guys, meet Leif, Louis Leif, my beautiful puppy, okay? He's about nine months old and he's so loving and he wants to eat human food. That's why he actually barks all the time. So hi Leif, hi. So guys, the reason why I put this intro together for you is to show you that I'm, an, I'm actually a real person. I'm not just another person who comes out here and babbles on the internet like my dog is babbling right now. What do you want? That I'm a real person. That behind all of this, there's a person who has passions. I travel. I have a lot of hobbies. And I do a lot of things besides stocks and talking about investment. And uh, you're being too loud a little bit. <laughs> so, uh, so basically, guys, I told you, this company has been around ever since 1956. And this company actually is trading at 1.1 times the book value. Now think about it, guys. <laughs> if, you, if your dog is barking all the time, how can you make videos that you can put on YouTube? It is virtually impossible, you know? So guys, let's get straight into it. Now, I told you this is a sleeper stock, and I told you this uh, uh, noise from the kitchen. What do I do with the noise from the kitchen now? Alrighty, guys, I'll shout out if you ever... <laughs> Alrighty, guys, there's a lot of noise in my house, so please forgive me. I'm trying. <laughs> so now that all the laughter had subsided, let me get straight to it now. So we're going to talk price to book value. Most of the EV vehicles out there, like NEO, like Xpong, like Lee Auto, and other EV makers right now, they are trading at about 6.5 times their valuation, price to book valuation. We're talking about their price in the stock market as shares, as to their valuation in real life, their growth. Now, you know that the stock market works in anticipation of events. Basically, if we think that NEO is going to grow by six times in the next six years, we will pay six times as much as NEO is worth today, thinking and predicting that this company is going to grow and meet the expectation. That's a risky choice, you know. But that's what what is happening right now. This market is is not in the step of the real valuations of the companies. Therefore, I'm going to make a wild prediction today, and I'm going to tell you why I made it. I'm telling you right now that the share for Ford, ticker symbol F, will double in the next six months to a year. Why is that? In my eyes, it is it is definitely a sleeper stock. Okay. I see that the annual growth for this company is 25.6%, which is double as much as the rest of the market. I also see that 
the earning expectations for this company look healthy, which means definitely you need to own the stock before earning reports come out. So you have to find out what the dates for the earning reports are and track them. And just a couple of days before the earning reports come out, there's going to be predictions for from analysts that will talk about what the earning reports might look like. And you need to look at them and see if they look good and they're promising you need to buy. You need to buy three or four days or five days before the earning report comes out. Because quite traditionally, when the earning reports come out, that's when the stock on, in the next one or two days skyrockets and then it tapers off and cools down after that. But you need to know when to buy your stock and you need to know when to get out of your stock. But if you're holding long-term stocks, if you buy long, you don't need to bother about this at all. You just own it now, which I think is about $9.40, nine and then hold it for a year. And my prediction for you is going to be at about $18, $18 per share. I almost said $18,000. I, I don't mean that. Uh, that it's going to be about it's going to jump from 940 or 950 all the way to about 1850 or or $19 a share. Okay, now why is that? Why is that? Is is it just that the that it is actually trading at the valuation right now? I'm going to tell you right now, it's not just it is trading at the valuation. There are so many other factors that I have studied that I think will push this company forward. Okay, I think that this will be a home run in any portfolio. Uh, particularly because if the stock market crashes, we have a company that is trading at its valuation. So basically, you won't stand to lose a lot of money. That's number one, because a lot of people who buy stocks, you know, stocks are hot. Everybody wants to go in. Stocks are, are cool off. Everybody wants to get out. But if you're not there when they go in and go out, you're not going to be able to actually make money. Now, do, can you tell when people are going into a stock and when they're coming out of a stock? Can you tell when they're buying a stock? And what time they're selling a stock the problem is um, you invest in a stock overnight and then you wake up the next day and, and 20 percent of your earnings are gone this is the dilemma this is the conundrum this is what every investor is actually afraid of that you go to sleep owning a lot of money having a lot of money owning a lot of shares and then you wake up and and, and the next day your shares are, are are at a value that you never thought possible okay so you want to avoid that well, you can avoid that in, in a couple of ways. Number one is actually investing for the long run, for the long haul, okay? Meaning buying the stock today, not looking at it day to day, and then coming back to visit it maybe six months to a year. And then it's going to surprise you with the amount of growth it has achieved for you, okay? Because you have to make do your taxes at the end of the year, you have to look at your stocks. You have, These are assets that you own. So you will you will actually look at them periodically. The second thing you can do is actually invest, but be cautious investing. What I mean by that is you read the news on the companies you invest in and you make sure that your, your investment isn't going to lose a lot of money. Therefore, if, if Ford, for example, um, puts out some bad, bad news, horrible news, you try to get out of it and try to get into, into a stock that you think will achieve your goals, your financial goals. So therefore, I believe, now I have to talk to you about something else. Now, you all saw it on television. The Broncos are out there. The Broncos are out there. But they have not been, they have not made a new Bronco in about 25 years. And the minute they announced that they're making the new Bronco and they priced it at $30,000 for the base models, people went crazy. And we have almost about 15,000 reservations in two weeks. Okay? Which is up to about... Uh, did I say 1,500? I meant to say 150,000 reservations in two weeks. Okay? And the uh, reservations kept on coming. So I have no idea how many reservations there are for the Ford Bronco. But I also know that uh, Ford said it's not going to actually be able to deliver uh, the, the Ford Broncos until late 2021 or 2022 because the demand is extremely high. Now think about it. If a product's demand is extremely high, What's going to happen to the company that produces that product? Easy answer. It's going to make a lot of profit. And we're talking about 2021, beginning of 2021. They're going to deliver at the end of 2021 some of their uh, vehicles. And then into 2022, there's going to be more deliveries in demand because a lot of people have registered to own this vehicle. Add to that 
Ford is invested in a small company. Well, it's not small, but it's not traded on the stock market, okay? It is called Rivian. Now, if you know, Amazon actually has committed to actually buying 10,000 electric vehicles from Rivian. Ford invested about $500 million into Rivian. To, um, to build some sort of a, a, a electric car that Ford has not disclosed yet. It could be a brand new car. It could be one of their F-150s. Um, but Rivian, I know that Rivian has come out and said that their cars will be, their electric cars will be able to go about 400 miles. Okay. And that is a great, great um, possibility. So, um that is what I wanted to talk to you about. I wanted to tell you that you need to actually allocate some some percentage of in your portfolio to an old company, uh, one that enjoys great American engine ingenuity, and that will actually serve you well. It's going to keep you. It's going to keep your uh, investment safe. And if you are into diversifying your stock, this is one that you will not regret. And if you want to play options, you can also do that close to the earning dates. And along with Apple that I gave you yesterday, and so many other companies that are that are catching hype right now, go back to, go back to um, my videos on Thursday and on Wednesday, and I gave you some great stocks, and I told you exactly what to do. And if you did exactly what I told you to do, you'd have made a lot of money today. And that's all from me right now. Now we are the Stock Banditos, and we are going to keep it coming here. But I wanted to come out here and talk to you about this because I thought it is extremely important. So I enjoyed your company, guys. If you have any questions or comments, drop them down in the comments below. And if you don't have any questions, and if you like what you're seeing, please uh, give me a like and subscribe. And if you don't like what I'm see what you're seeing, please give me a thumbs down and leave me a nasty comment in the comment section. Okay, thank you so much for sticking around and I'll see you the next time around. Goodbye.